What's up, everybody? So, I'm back at it. Computer set up and everything. Looking pretty good. Looking pretty good overall. I might have just flashed there because I just started the old X split up. But anyhow, I came across fake Mahomes rookie patch. Now, this was originally out... I want to say... I don't know when it was originally discovered, but it was a while ago. And Probstein sold it. Now, you're going to see this. You're going to be so amazed by this. But if you ever see a patch that just doesn't look right, you probably want to stay away from it, regardless if it's graded or not. And I'm about to show you why. So this here, I'm going to blow this up a little bit more because we don't need top camera for this. There we go. This was active as of Monday, and I believe it went off Thursday. So you guys are seeing this video on Saturday because I'm still getting stuff back set up. I do apologize. It should have been a lot quicker. So this was originally sold back in the day by Probstein. It's graded by PSA A10. A10. They do slip up. This is a fake patch. So I'm going to show you why it's a fake patch. So you got to bear with the pictures here, guys. Just bear with the pictures a little bit. This is the card now, as graded with a fake patch. It's numbered 50 out of 75. It's very hard to see, but if you go to the old listings, you'll see it. 58 out of 75. This is a fake patch, as written in here, fake patch. Here's the original card from back in the day. Numbered 58 out of 75. Notice that there's no patch into it. It's certified. I'm going to pull these up side by side. I just wanted to show you real quick the uh, numbering onto it. So that's the original one from back in the day. Here's the one that was graded by PSA as being authentic. Both totally certified. Nothing else has changed but this patch is on it. So please, when you're out there spending your money and you see something like that, granted it's not going to say fake patch, somebody wrote that on there, be careful. Be careful on that stuff. They're just buying stuff and throwing it in there, and these guys are good. they got to pass PSA. I know a lot of people have hate for PSA, but it made it pass it because they didn't authenticate the patch. So... Please be cautious out there of what you see. You never, ever know 100% if it's good or not. And I get a lot of questions onto this. And I just wanted to show you this was a perfect example. A gentleman, I believe it was a gentleman. I'm sorry if you're, if you're not. I'm just trying to recall the message we were chatting back and forth, Ed. But about fake patches being out there. They're all over the place. If it looks too good to be true... It probably is. I would expect a patch like something like this to be like out of 10 or less in a product like Certified. And I would probably say Certified has to be a one on one. In NT, Flawless, you're going to get those patches that people want into it. Same with iMac. They, iMac Collegiate, you're going to get disgusting patches when they get down low numbered, like 15 or less, I believe. But be careful out there. With what you guys are purchasing with your hard money, especially on stuff like this here. As you guys can see, I'm going to pull up the auction real quick on top. Oh, I guess I can't. This was at $5,100 $5, as of Monday night. I don't know what it's selling for. It might have been pulled by now, too. Uh, about an hour ago, it was not pulled. So be careful on what you guys are out there buying. Take a look at it. If it looks wrong, it's probably definitely wrong. No hit onto the guy selling it because he probably has no clue on this. None of it whatsoever. He's probably like PSA graded. It's good. I don't even know if anybody reached out to him, but it is what it is offhand. Um, you know, I probably let me take that back because when I searched for this earlier on eBay, I don't know if it was an ended auction or if it was still live, but it was, there was still a picture of it out there. So. If you guys want to take a look, I don't know if it's going to sell or not. If eBay pulled, the guy pulled it, I have no idea. But this is just an example offhand that these things out here do exist with these patches like that.
if you see it, let people know. You know, that seller might not be aware of it. If he keeps it on there, that, that's on to him, guys. It's not on us. We do our due diligence by sh presenting this stuff so other people don't fall into the trap. And then it's just horrible for them because now they're out all this money. What are they going to do? You know, and this stuff has probably changed hands a few times already. I, I would guarantee it. All right, everybody, appreciate you guys always watching the video. If you're new, hit that subscribe button. I'm always coming up with stuff like this. Uh, majority of you guys have said you like seeing this for knowledge and just what's out there and keeping awareness out there. I'm going to continue doing it. Along with you guys, you'll still see some uh, box openings that I do and stuff, the monthly auction that I do, um, whatever else I come up with videos. I mean, whatever hits me that day is what I'm looking and seeing. I want to get stuff pushed out and spaced out. I would have pushed this out quicker, but like I said, it's too late now, you know, onto this. But this just gives you a perfect example onto it. Again, take care. Hopefully your weekend does well. Tune in tonight. I'm doing the giveaway. Doing the giveaway tonight for the 2,500 subscribers. And I'm pretty sure by the time this uploads, the time has already expired to get into it. But stop by. Say hello in the chat. You guys ever see me live doing tests on stuff? Feel free to talk in the chat. I'll stay on for a little bit. We'll chit-chat and stuff. I like uh, hearing everybody else's stories and, you know, what they see and everything versus what I see. It's always good seeing it from other people's eyes as well. All right. Take care. See you all later.